Hello everybody, Logs here, welcome to my channel and today a lazy spa, I'm going to be packing it away for the winter. Mm. I'll show you how to empty all the water, deflate it, give it a little bit of a clean, make sure it's nice and dry and then pack it away. Right, let's get cracking. Well, in a minute. But first, some top tips to keep your Lazy Spa water in great condition. Before anyone gets in the Lazy Spa, make sure that they have a shower. This just washes off any deodorant, skin cream, sun cream, things like that. Before you get in the spa, wipe your feet on a towel. That gets rid of any grit on your feet. Keep a spare sieve handy. This is really useful for just getting out anything like dead flies or leaves or bits of hair. And make sure you keep your chlorine tablets topped up or if you're using chlorine granules. This is the murky water here in the lazy spa. So the first thing that we'll do is shut down the keypad. Let's just unlock it first. Turn off the water filtration and then turn the power off. I'm going to unplug it from the mains while we drain it, but we'll plug it back in later on. Then also turn the power off at the plug. You just need to push this red button here. It's also worth unplugging it for extra safety. At the bottom here by the Lazy Spa unit, you've got this drainage hose. Unscrew the lid anti-clockwise. It won't start draining out because there's a plug inside. Our Lazy Spa is actually quite close to a drain here. But what you should have got with your Lazy Spa box is this hose adapter that can just screw on. That allows you to, to just plug in a hose adapter and drain it through a hose. If you've got a really dry summer, you can use that water to water your garden. Or if your drain is quite a long way away, you can use your hose to extend it to wherever your drain is. So we're now ready to start letting the water out. What you'll need for this is a nice smooth pebble. But before we do that, I'm just going to remove the chem connect and the filter device. We'll give those a good clean later. Now this is where you actually drain it from. So just reach down and pull the lid off. This is where you'll need your smooth stone because that flap which comes off of the drainage hole will naturally try and go back in and then it will stop draining. And the water has started draining. Now you don't have to use that hose adapter if you are near a drain or it's just in your garden. You can just let it free flow out like this and it will actually drain a lot faster. As I said ours is quite near a drain so I'm just going to let it drain at full blast here. Daisy's wondering what's going on. Hello Daisy. You okay? Just emptying the spa, okay? And it's about five to four and it's draining at full pelt. So whilst it's draining, I'm just going to stop for a quick cup of tea in my Slytherin mug. Well, actually, it's my daughter's. For cleaning, you'll need a nice lint-free cloth and a non-scratch sponge scourer and a bucket. Don't be tempted to use washing up liquid because that will bubble and you'll get loads of foam everywhere. The best thing to use is a dishwasher tablet because this won't foam up. So just pop that into a bucket, fill that with hot water and give that a good swish around so that, that tablet dissolves. Once that bucket's full up, it will then be ready later on to help start cleaning the spa. So it's about half empty and it's about seven minutes past. So that's taken 12 minutes so far. Give this bucket a good swish around. Now about 16 minutes past and I'm ready to climb in. Obviously make sure you go in barefoot. You do not want to damage the base of the lazy spa. And whilst it's still empty I'm just going to start cleaning because I'm slightly impatient. So take your non-scouring sponge with your detergent water. And I'm just going to start cleaning the top of the lazy spa here. Whilst I'm doing that, there's a link above about how to add additional air to your Lazy Spa if it's getting a little bit soggy. And 
Just giving that a good scrub all the way round. Then I'm going to start inside. It's good to pick a specific reference point, so maybe where the unit is, the water filtration device, and then either go clockwise or anti-clockwise around, and then you know where you start and where you finish. So giving these a good scrub in the grooves, up and down. Now I'm doing this all whilst the lazy spa is still draining. Once it's completely drained, then we'll be able to clean the base of the lazy spa. So it's taken about 37 minutes to almost empty. Now in the back of where the air jets are, out of here, that's where you get a lot of grit built up. So we'll get rid of that later on. If you've got a wet and dry vac, that'd be absolutely perfect. Make sure that you also wash the outside of the lazy spa. We'll wash the underside of the lazy spa later on after we've deflated it. To get the last bits of water out, you can lift the lazy spa. Don't try lifting it if there's too much water in it because you might damage it. But if there's just a bit left, you can just pick that up and that will help drain the water. Don't be tempted to use the handle. They're only designed for picking it up when it's empty. So now we've virtually got no water left inside. We've just got some grit. As I mentioned earlier, if you've got a wet and dry vac with a nice soft nozzle, that'll be perfect. I'm just going to use a cloth. Get as much grit off as I can. And then squeeze that outside of the lazy spa. Be careful when you're cleaning along the back of here because the edge of that air bubble crease is quite sharp and you could actually cut yourself. So just be careful in there. Might want to wear a pair of rubber gloves. This is looking much, much better. Now I'm just going to turn the hose on. And with some fresh water, I'm just going to give this a good old rinse. And then use a clean cloth and just rinse down the detergent which came from the dishwasher tablet. And we've still got the plug out so it's going to drain away. Just giving this a really good clean. Just some final bits of grit to get out. To remove the rest of any standing water in the bottom of your lazy spa, take a nice new car sponge and just soak up as much water as you can and then squeeze that out over the outside of your lazy spa. That will help get rid of most of the water and after that we'll use some towels to soak up the rest. So just keep doing that until there's hardly any water left in the bottom of your lazy spa. Now that we've safely emptied it, we need to plug it back in and switch it back on again. When you've got as much water out as you can using the sponge, then it's time to put on the bubbles. So on the keypad, unlock it and turn the bubbles on. This just creates lots of airflow coming out of those bubble vents at the bottom. That just helps dry it all out. If there's any water inside there, which there will be, that will spray out of those holes and you can mop that up using a sponge or the towels. So again, with your sponge, just go round, soak up as much as you can, then take a nice clean dry towel. Just start soaking up as much water as you can. Now inside where those holes are, which is what creates all the bubbles, there will be some standing water inside that. So if you've got a slight slope where the lazy spa is sitting, you, the water will tend to go to one particular side. And when you push down where those 
air vents are you will get water squirting out so just soak up as much of that as you can with your towels I'm just cleaning all the side here you can see it's spraying out it's actually going on the camera lens so if we push you can see the water squirting out of those holes you just use as many towels as you need that one's finished it's take a nice fresh clean dry one and again we're pushing where those air vent bubbles are just to squeeze out any excess water and all the time we're doing this we're still leaving the bubble feature on so we've got lots of air coming out of here that's just helping to dry it all out now I'm going to invent a new dance called the lazy spa shuffle dance do 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 yeah I don't think that's going to catch on this is where we drain the water just going to poke my towel in there just to soak up as much of it as I can then put the cap back on remember to dry the outside of the lazy spa and we're about halfway through the lazy spa is nice and clean nice and dry and now it's ready to start deflating and then get ready to pack away but I'm just going to stop for a bit of lunch which today is a Cornish pasty oh disconnect the lazy spa unit I just unscrew this one first that one is now disconnected now let's do the one underneath these hoses are part of the water filtration system and the heating system let's get this one undone great stuff now let's go around the other side and disconnect this one which does the bubbles so unscrew that So now all the pipe work is disconnected so just gently move the lazy spa unit away from the lazy spa fabulous the lazy spa will be wet underneath so i'm just going to lift it over and place it on a dry sheet over here if there's two of you that will be easier to carry and daisy's getting extremely curious about what is going on in my garden Right, move the lazy spa unit over to near the inflatable lazy spa and in your box you should have these parts. You've got this deflation device adapter and you've got this hose and you've also got this special deflation nozzle. What we'll do first is connect the deflation device. This goes on the air bubble connector. So just offer it up against that rubber washer and then screw it on. Make sure it's tight but don't go crazy tight because you don't want to damage those plastic threads. Now we can connect the hose. This is what we'll be using to deflate the lazy spa. Now this deflation device that we've just attached has got air vents on it. It's a safety device so you cannot deflate it too much and damage it. Now at the other end we need to attach the special deflation nozzle but before we do that we'll just unscrew this cap here this is where the air will deflate from and if I just push in this nozzle here you can hear that it starts deflating so first of all detach the current inflation device just turn it just twist it and pop it out then take the special deflation nozzle push it in hard and then twist it so it locks into place that is now ready 
what you do is you push that as far in as you can get it and you will hear it start to deflate but what we can do is make the lazy spy unit help us along and do it super quick in under five minutes so what you do is unlock the keypad then press the bubbles icon and the lazy spar is now deflating let's say you sit and do this for five minutes i'm just going to speed this footage up And as I mentioned earlier, you can't damage the lazy spar by leaving the deflation device on for too long. So it's got a special safety device on the air vent, so you cannot damage it. And this is coming up to the final stages. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a help along to make sure that it folds down nicely. And what you don't want to do is pack away your lazy spa damp because then if you're not using it for six months or so you could start to get mold appear on your lazy spa or even inside it while it's deflating i'm just going to take a towel and just dry off any damp parts on it now i'm just going to flip it over when you flip it over be careful not to stretch the deflation hose and the underside even though it's been laying on a sheet it's still fairly damp and actually it's pretty dirty as well so I don't want to pack that away dirty so take your bucket with your dishwasher detergent hot water in it and your non-scouring sponge then just give that a really good clean get rid of any dirt and debris around the edges and on the underside then take your towel and then dry off all of the underside so it's nice and dry before we flip it back over. While right, that's all nice and dry on the underside, I'm just going to flip it back over and then just dry off any more dampness on the top with my towel. Now disconnect the deflation hose and quickly get on the cap. So screw that on nice and tight. That just stops any air getting back in the lazy spa and it starts kind of reinflating itself slowly you can leave the lazy spa unit running for a little bit because there will still be some water inside here now i'm going to turn off the bubbles now there are various caps that come with the lazy spa and you can put these caps on but my advice would be not to put those on because then it still helps with ventilation when you've stored it away if you've got any slight dampness trapped inside then with the caps on it's not going to be able to escape also remember to dry out and deflate the cover and you can do this with the deflation device again this just slots straight in get that nice and flat then dry that out with towels or on your washing line now let's disconnect the deflation hose just unscrew that anti-clockwise just pop that off now we disconnect this by unscrewing the locking nut at the back there now i'm going to turn off the lazy spa unit just hold the power down and then unplug it from the mains then this will be ready to pack away just going to press the red button that cuts the power and then we're also going to unplug it as with the other items of the lazy spa there may be some dampness on this cable so take your towel and just give the cable a good wipe but i'm going to store this indoors for about a week or so before i pack it all away just so it's nice and dry Just drying off the cable and now the lazy spa unit is inside where it's nice and warm just ready to dry out and the cover and the outer cover and then finally the actual lazy spa inflatable spa which i've left inside to dry out 
And then once it's fully dried out, you can roll it up and put it back in the box. Yeah, <laughs> good luck with that. You know what it's like trying to get something back in the box. But before we pack it all away, remember to clean your ChemConnect device and your filter housing. Because you don't want to store those away dirty if they're a little bit grimy. Just give those a wash just with some hot soapy water. This filter's had it, that can go in the bin, but you can actually clean them using a washing machine. There's a link above now about how to do that. Just saves you a bit of extra cash, makes it last a little bit longer. So wash all these out. And then make sure they're nice and dry, ready to go back in the box. And I tell you what, I think that definitely deserves a lovely cup of tea. In the top left, there's a video on how to add air to your lazy spa if it goes soggy. In the top right, how to clean filters using a washing machine. That just saves you a little bit of cash. And in the bottom left, the lazy spa running costs. And I hope that was useful to you. Cheers.